Hello and welcome back to the repair bench. Tonight we're looking at a 1979 or 78, whichever one it is, asteroids board. Uh, brain's a little bit fried because I've done that much time at the bench recently. Um, this is actually going to be a blind repair because I don't have a test rig here at the workshop for an asteroid for a vector monitor based asteroids at the moment. So it's um, the, it's actually a quite a simple fix. You sort of saying, well, how can you do a blind repair? Uh, it's actually a stupendously easy fix that I'm doing. These are the original Atari ROM sockets that are on it. Let's bring it under the light a little bit more. That's better. These are the original uh, Atari ROM sockets. And what I noticed was, if I turn the board that way, um, if you notice some of the sockets don't kind of uh, quite sit there properly how they should do. They're not quite aligned. And also, uh, this is a machine that we had at Blackpool with us. And when it got to Blackpool, what I noticed was, that, that ROM socket there was hanging half off like that. I was able to reseat it because I didn't have enough ROM so any ROM sockets with me in the desoldering rig uh, to uh, to sort that out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop all these sockets off and replace them with uh, three brand new ones. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that one. I might do that one as well. Uh, yeah, I think what we'll do is do all four EEPROM sockets that are on here. So those are the three, the three primary ones and then you have another one up there as well. So that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to pop those off, put three, four, three or four brand new sockets on and then pop the chips back in and I will take, uh, take the board back in and I'll, and I'll uh, put it in the thing tomorrow and uh, show you a video of it there. Right, so what I'll do is I'll run along these and I'll suction all four of these out. Right, okay, so there we are, all the sockets, all the old nasty sockets are out of this line of the board, and what we did was we uh, we wrote on which socket, which positions on the board that they went back into, so I could get them in the right order. I haven't removed that fourth one yet, and I've got the sockets all lined up for it, and what I'm going to do now is just drop drop the three into uh, into here as needed, and then we'll uh, we'll look at that fourth one over over there. to watch that blue wire with the solder points because it's quite close isn't it if you see a big cube like box turn up yeah it says soldering microscope on it yeah you know where i'm getting at <laughs> <laughs> Be fucking careful with <laughs> it. Yeah, because that's like two and a half grand at least for a decent one. I want the one that EV blog has, which is like two and a half K, something like that. Right, and what you're going to say now is, hey, we put that wire on. Well, my friend, what you need is not to drop your, um, your tools on the floor. small pair of tweezers. Move that to there. There you go. There's three nice new sockets installed and what we found on the back of the board was there was a little wire trace joining pin 7 and 13 and we've remade that as well carefully underneath. So let's pop the ROMs, EEPROMs back in and then we'll turn our attention over here and we'll replace this nasty looking socket as well. There's no point having replaced these three nice three with nice ones and then leaving this crappy one on the board and that's the, uh, the last of the EEPROM sockets. Right then, that's it. That's 
one, two, three, four EEPROM sockets replaced. Uh, soldering is all nice and neat underneath there. You can just see the um, the isopropyl just evaporating around some of the where I've cleaned it up around those around those legs. Uh, the only thing we've got to do is stick it back in a cab and make sure it works. Unfortunately, I don't have an Asteroids cab here at uh, the workshop. So that's going to have to wait till tomorrow and I'll probably post some photos of it. But no, uh, it's a uh, you know, straightforward blind repair. All right. <laughs> till the next video and uh, don't forget to all hit the old subscribe button and uh, give us a like and a comment if there's anything you want to ask us. All right, till the next, goodbye. There you go. As you can see, the game in now working again back in its original cabinet so that's another successful little uh, tinkering job wish i just had a bench set up and i could uh, do vector games on all right till the next one see you later